Holy shit, guys. This is your favorite Saiyan, the buzz one, and I have an absolutely massive video to bring you guys today. This has been in the making for a good six months, at least. Um, if you haven't, go and check out uh, my Partner in Crimes channel, CCG Replays, uh, where he cracks open a, a box of goodies that I've sent his way. And he's also sent a fucking huge box of goodies my way. And I'm going to be exploring this beautiful, beautiful box full of epic fucking cards right now with all of you guys. So let's jump in. I don't even know where to put this, it's so big. We got so many, so many, so many shit here. Uh, just going into the box. Okay, let's, let's do it like this. For now, you're gonna have to just see my mouth movement for a little while. But uh, we have Bubble Wrap, the cornerstone of deliveries. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. So, my man D, he spent months putting together decks for me, color coding them getting the right color sleeves for them. These beauties are all uh, pansy, scorzy decks for different formats and we're gonna play the absolute living fuck out of these these cards in the future. I don't even know where to start. It's, it's just so, that, I'm just gonna unpack the box, get everything on the table and then we're just gonna sort of go one by one. So we have uh, the first box is, is empty. <laughs> So this is a spacer. We don't need this. It will be good for the future. Uh, we have a beautiful empty box of Dragon Shield Purple Mat. And that's it. We're done. Thank you. <laughs> I'm only kidding, guys. This is, this is also a filler. Now, let's get on to uh, the business material. We have one silver mat box. We have... A dark green ultra pro box we have a dark blue maybe slightly purplish ultra pro box we have a pure white ultra pro box we have a black ultra pro box we have uh, sort of like an, uh, an egg green sort of like a duck egg green ultra pro box we have an orange Ultra Pro Box. We have a red <laughs> Ultra Pro Box. We have a whole fucking starter of uh, a slightly different Dragon Ball game, uh, which we gotta have a look at. We have Zatch Bell. Um, it's a really cool name. Or this is actually part of the game. They use it like a, um, sort of like a wizard's sort of spell book type of thing. So that's very cool. And we have this uh, box here, which is um, mostly stuff that um, he kindly allowed me to um, sort of uh, get with his assistance. I don't even know where to start, guys. It's just so much stuff. I'm overwhelmed. This is I'm, I'm so overwhelmed. This has been in the post for two months. It was stopped in the United States for whatever reasons. Um, the box hasn't been opened or anything like that. And it's just oh, so, so much, so much, so much stuff. I don't know where to start. Right, get your shit together. Get your shit together. We have a box of cards here. I'm just going to start with that. Uh, and then we're gonna go on to go on to some some other goodies. So this box here, uh, we crack it open, and we have uh, a lot of different shits here. I'm gonna go with this because here we've got Jesus Christ. So we got a Firestorm uh, tactical card game starter deck here. This little beauty uh, was made in 2001. And that's the kind of card 
sort of look that they went here, which I think is amazing. I absolutely love this sort of um, a techy fantasy blend of uh, of cards. So this deck is uh, the Dizori. Um and oh, nice. Okay, I'm I'm loving the the back of the card. That's really cool. We have a. Oh, by the way, if if, if you guys uh, haven't realized this yet, this video is going to be extremely extremely long. So we got. Look at this. Look at the chunkiness of this. <laughs> look at this. Oh my God. We got what? Ninety pages of rules. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy shit, this is gonna take me an afternoon just to read through. Okay, this is this is exciting beyond belief. Um, what is this game? No idea, but you seem to have sort of a very uh, intricate way of placing your cars during the game. So I'm already loving that style. Let's have a quick look at the cards as well. Okay, so first of all, we've seen a heavy cruiser. Spaceship, fucking loving it already. Lovely, lovely stuff. We have Arcadius Prime, which I'm assuming is, is, a, is a well, it's a planet. It says there, but it's some sort of a location which will come into play with the cards. We got a mining asteroid for a planet, and we have Sorvius One. We have also got the Forest Worlds. This looks fucking epic already. We got City, we got Research Facility, Terraform Company, another copy of City, Hydro, Hydro Extraction Plant, Pilot Training Facility, uh, and these seem to be supports. I suppose they're like locations that you would put onto the planets. And then we have Revenge, Cut the Red Tape, Martyr Leader, Training, Insurrection Support, Snub Fighter, uh, Fighter, Mercenary Captain. Look at this guy. Oh, holy shit. Ah, that is so cool. That is so cool. Uh, cloning. We got cloning in here. We're cloning naked chicks. Of course, what else would you do if you have uh, access to cloning? Uh, Prefect Lusana, El Syrian, nice name. Another snub fighter, a fighter. Passage to Mars, concentrated effort. And then we have another pilot training facility. Uh, now we got Cry to the Heavens. Octavia, whoa! Octavia Julianus. <laughs> nice ass, lady. Hell yes. Uh, <laughs> assassination attempt. Hidden resources. An explorer. Another Octavia Julianus. We have Prime Tatia. Ventisus. God, these these ladies are very 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 lovely. They're putting out there. We got hidden resources. Uh, sacrifice. Another explorer. Queen Helena. Mirianus. We have ambassador aid. Sacrifice again. We got a gunship. Uh, Rihanna Tirsus. Blood for blood. Lyceria Truvalis. Shield Enhancer, this is a support gunship, Rihanna Tirsus, Lyceria Truvalis, a heavy cruiser, uh, we have a Brecratic Mismanagement card, and our final card is Training. These cards look fantastic. Uh, I have not heard of this game at all. Um, I'm absolutely, absolutely blown away by the, the car. I like, I love the design. I love the pictures. I love whenever you got spaceships. I love whenever you got very, very uh, minimally dressed women on cards. 
uh, and also in real life, of course. Um, and these just seem to be hitting the spot like so <laughs> nicely. I can't wait to play Firestorm. Uh, jeez, this is this is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, God, this is so cool. This is this is one out of so many fucking decks of cards. Oh my God. Okay, so Firestorm, 50 card starter, and rulebook. There you go. That's the first one we've explored. Moving on with the box, we have. Uh, so, okay, alright, so we got two Dragon Ball decks here. This is for uh, a Dragon Ball card game. I'm not sure what its name is, but this was the follow up, uh, if I remember correctly, after. The um, the score Z has finished, uh, and so we got a Goku and we got a Raditz deck here. Um, I'm gonna open these. I'm gonna open these, but I'm not gonna open these right now. I'm actually going to open these in a little while because I want to go through this. Just look at this. This is just all cards. This is all cards. I love cards. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we've got some Star Wars T uh, TCG here. We've got three Java Sand Crawlers. My man D, he's had um, some additional ones. I only have the one copy. And Java Sand Crawler goes into every deck. So this gives me a play set to run. Uh, amazing thank you so much man thank you thank you thank you I appreciate it so much and everything everything that's in here is just amazing he's he's found me uh, a fucking truckload of, uh, of, of, of Dragon Ball super cards he sent me all the um, double color super combos he's a massive player He's a massive uh, advocate of the uh, Dragon Ball Super card game. And you guys know I used to mingle in that card game as well. So we still tend to play together. But he's he's absolutely on the scene. He is somebody you uh, need to be aware of and scared of when you go on to your tournaments in the US. Because he's going to wipe your ass with the floor. So uh, he included four Mira Faithful Servants for me just to um, sort of beef up my uh, uh, mono black mirror deck. This is amazing stuff, thank you so much man. Um, mirror Faithful Servant, uh, activate main, if you don't have any battle cards in play, play this card from your hand for fucking free. And then for uh, activate main for three uh, cost, choose up to one mirror card with an original energy cost of five in your hand and play it on top of this card. So this accelerates out the, uh, the big five drop mirror uh, with this card now it can be dropped on turn 3, which is pretty uh, ball busting. So that's that's fucking great to have. Four of the uh, yellow-blue, uh, Zamasu, uh, Sacred Bel Disbelief uh, Super Combo, which is immediately gonna go into my Bojack deck. Uh, and if you guys want to see my Bojack decks, although they're a little bit expired, obviously the game has moved on. But I do have uh, two deck profiles up that you can check out here on my channel. We are then going to move on and look at a Wiz. Uh, it's the red-yellow Wiz Super Combo. Again, I'm, I haven't really sort of uh, mingled with red-yellow uh, Dex is super just yet, but this is definitely going to be a very good starting point. All these, all these sort of uh, uh, dual color super combos are absolutely amazing cards, guys. Oh my love, Android 18, Bionic Blitz. So th this um, uh, again, uh, I used to run a mono green uh, Android deck which is probably now has very much expired. I know that androids now are in blue, green. And actually the addition of blue has, I think, really boosted that archetype. So I might start to look at some of those uh, those blue, green cards. But this, this particular one is uh, extremely close to my heart. Android 18 is such a waifu. 
we have uh, the is it colors <laughs> for you magic players out there uh, red blue Beerus divine obliterator another fantastic super combo and last but not least we have dr. Jero progenitor of terror for green yellow um, not super sure how well yellow complements green for androids but I suppose I need to go and discover that now so this is it for Dragon Ball Super fantastic stuff and we're immediately moving on to something very beautiful and very rare we have for those of you guys who play Gundam War this is the uh, final promo, promo 9, that was released for uh, the English release of Gundam War. And he found not one, not two, not three, but four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen copies of this promo for me. And um, I have a uh, I have a mono blue deck. I have also just recently put together a uh, mono blue, uh, 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 sorry, a dual deck, a uh, blue black deck. This is probably gonna find uh, a, some place in my mono blue deck, um, and it's just fantastic to have 15 promos of this amazing card. Check, check this out, guys. Check this out. So, oh, super chuffed with this. Okay, now. Uh, I almost feel like this should be um, shown off uh, together with the uh, with the deck boxes here. So I'm actually going to leave this here for a minute and a half. Uh, we also have uh, a couple of beauties here. So we got a still wrapped Sailor Mass Provo for Gundam MS War. Uh, this actually, I believe, is my third copy of this lady. Definitely the second, I know I definitely have at least second, uh, at least two copies. Um, but this is, this is, um, oh he's put it in a sleeve for me, dude, you are amazing, thank you, oh, thank you so much dude. Um, and we also have a Rambarel, this is definitely uh, one of the better promos that came out with the figurines. Of course, uh, I also have a few just there on on the shelf. We got a uh, Kouraki and we have a uh, Nina Purpleton there in the background. So check this out, Rumbarel, and I will turn this. I will take this bad boy out of the uh, the sleeve. It's actually mint condition as well. Uh, or we're near me, there's a little bit of a bump, but I, I knew about that. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Dude! Oh, man! Oh, this is fantastic! So I'm only missing, I only, I was only missing two cards for a complete set of MS War and Merimaya Kushinara was one of them. And I now have a copy. Thank you so much, D-Man. Oh, this is just, oh god. You guys have no idea how long I'll be waiting for these cards to arrive. This is just absolutely, it's fantastic. Look at this. Look at this story. It's just, oh god. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, we were worried for a while that um, Customs is going to rip it open. Uh, they are going to take it apart and, and not obviously repackage it properly. So, I mean, uh, we were both an absolute nervous wreck for the past two months. But they're here. And I'm looking at them. And the next little stop, actually, before we do this, we got a. We got one more MS War card here. We got the Gundam Scrap Heap, uh, which I needed a third copy of to have a full playset. This card is also in so such a beautiful shape. It's unreal. It's a very very nice rare as well. Very useful for those of you who run the Wing Gundam factions. And by the way, guys, we have a massive community for 
uh, Gundam MS War, please come and check out our Facebook group. Um, for all the different groups that we have for all these different card games, I'm going to leave uh, the uh, group uh, link in the description below. Come and check us out on Gundam MS War, uh, and uh, you know, uh, just come and come and hang. You can also print these cards. You can play with them. We we have reworked the rule set, um, and it's now a super fun, playable, very very playable, very involved game. So check out Gundam MS War. The next four cards are fantastic as well. So uh, Chrono Clash, for some of you, um, uh, you're familiar with, I've done a couple of uh, videos, we've posted gameplay videos, I've posted a couple of deck profiles, and I have been tirelessly working on trying to completely foil out, completely stamp out my, my red-blue deck, which is my baby, I absolutely love that deck, and this is the final copy uh, that I've needed for this absolutely beautiful card. This Evangelion Prototype 00 is just such a fantastic card. Um, it's got Sentinel Icon attack, but every turn you can tap it to give you one time. And of course, when you tap it, you're activating its Sentinel, uh, and then your opponent must attack this guy first before your opponent gets to attack your um, your uh, your sort of Chrono Clash stack. I can't remember its name right off the top. So this baby has been in the post for the past two months. Another beauty that I needed the third of is Mari Makinami Illustrious. Again, now I have the playset of the uh, stemmed out cards, so this is an absolute joy. Uh, for the um, uh, for the extra cards, uh, I believe this is one of the ones that I was still needing. So extremely happy with having the EVA O2 air type as components. Another beautiful, beautiful card. Look at that foiling on this card. Look at the stamping on this card. This is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, super cheap. It comes down for only two, so it's very easy to bring into play. It has fast, so you can swing immediately. It's got a plus one, so it hits for two uh, of those defense cards. Although you do need to discard one card, but it swings for four, so it's um, it's a good sort of finisher, actually. And last but not least, we have Mr. Uh, Koji. Uh, we have Ryoji Kaji, even. Sorry, not Koji. Kaji is what I meant to say. An absolute staple card for my blue purple sort of um, time manipulating time um, generating deck which is also an amazing deck and I love that deck so it's so nice to see these uh, they, they, these are actually tournament promos but you get a pack of four when you buy a box of them of course um, uh, I did uh, uh, show off some of these stamp cards that I have already in my deck profile so please uh, have a browse through my channel and check out those deck profiles as well if you have time. This baby here uh, is going straight into the folder. This completes my playset of Majin Vegeta cards for the for the the ultimate card game, the best card game on the planet, which is Dragon Ball CCG. This channel is built on built on Dragon Ball CCG. In fact, recently I've built a Majin Vegeta deck, and if you guys behave well, I might even uh, post it online if I see interest for that Majin Vegeta deck. But this card has been overrated for a long ass time. I have finally built a deck that shows off the power of this guy because this guy should not be underestimated. When it comes into play, it sends a, a turn cost of five or less warrior on your opponent's side into their chi. Toughness doesn't matter uh, if it's damaged or not, doesn't matter. Uh, you can't, realistically, you can't stop this guy. It's just going to destroy when it comes down and it's an absolutely fucking epic card. Now, those of you who follow me uh, will know that I collect a lot of different card games, uh, but of course, um, Derek knows, and the reason how we sort of started to hang out is because of uh, Dragon Ball CCG. 
but he uh, he's he's sort of uh, the biggest Dragon Ball game that's closest to his heart is of course Scorzy Pansy and the, the, all the different formats that that game has. This is why we have all these beautiful boxes that we're gonna go through. But he also knows that I absolutely fucking love CCG. So we did a trade. He was more than amazing to send me this foil turtles. Uh, and this foil turtles is going to the secret weapon deck, which shall never be shown off on YouTube. Uh, Turles, just uh, absolutely amazing character. This card is also absolutely broken. Set five cards for this game. Most of them are generally busted. Just completely changed the uh, the scene of the game. This Turles is just an absolutely fantastic card. Having uh, two copies in foil is just I I can't even tell you the joy that I'm feeling right now. So thank you. He's also included two foil evil cannons, which is immediately going to make its way into my Namekian deck, which also you guys can check out the profile for uh, uh, if you browse through my videos. And on top of these bad boys, he sent me an absolute fucking uh, treasure trove of foil cards for Dragon Ball CCG. Look at this, it's like 70, 80 foil cards. So let's see what we got here. We've got a Krillin, beautiful. We have a Chaozu from set one. This is this little guy he used to be such a staple. Really cool for attacking, really cool for um, uh, also being a support warrior. Yamcha from set one. Bulma. We've got a Nam here. We've got a Puar. Jackie Chan. Launch. Hercule. Cyberman, we got a second form foil Frieza. I think this, I mean, I know many, and, and I had discussions about this that you know, it's not really worth running second form, you can just go third form and then go to final form. But just look at this, look at this foiling, it's amazing, it's so good, and it's a free evolution drop when you when you start with your you know basic Frieza, you can then just do a free upgrade and get plus two attack power. Bubbles, Master Shen, Mai, Shu, Chao Tzu, the one that gives TM plus one plus zero. I absolutely love this card. Uh, Dende, the uh, savior from Planet Namek. We got a Pui Pui, and of course, Spopovich. Now, set one Kamehameha, I adore this card. Thank you so much, man. I now have two foils. Can't wait to collect the whole playset. Uh, obviously, nowhere near as good as the set five Kamehameha, but it still is a very solid card. And if we run it with Burning Attack, uh, we can actually target uh, a warrior. Well, we can bring a warrior's turn cost down to three, and then we can target that with Kamehameha. So that's good. Jankangu. Such a staple. Spirit Ball. Destructo Disc from set 2. Power Pole. Absolute staple for the tool build decks. Super, super cool card. After Image. I've talked about this card in the counter analysis, so please check out that video, guys. It's in the Dragon Ball CCG playlist. You will find it under uh, counter card analysis. Micro Miniaturizer. Time Machine, Senzu Beans in foil, sweet. Searching for Dragon Ball, Bangkok Bikri Show, whoa. Temptation, Medical Machine, we're only about halfway through. Resisting Power, it's actually not a bad counter, again you can check this out in the counter analysis video. True Power, used to be a, certainly a very good card, uh, sort of set one, set two. Searches the top five for a freezer. Countdown to destruction. Raccoon Bomber goes straight into the uh, Ginyu Force deck if you guys are running one. Raccoon Bomber is one of the reasons why you would even bother building that deck. Ruthless Blow. Roar. Very cool counter card. Death Ball. Twice. 
I, I actually, I used to actually uh, miss one for my playset. I think I actually have a playset of foils, which is amazing. Absorption of energy, very cool for Android decks. For which is technique, if you don't know what this technique does, what the fuck. This is the strongest pump technique in the game, period. Hyper Evolution, Reinforced Body, Dodompa, Merciless Attack. Yeah, set one had these slight printing errors where you might where you would have a line missing in the foiling. Doesn't matter, it just adds to the charm of things. Overwhelming power. Copied skill twice. Awakening of the evil. Evil containment wave, or also known as Mufuba! Evil wave explosion. Still very good if you want to run a mono unique deck. Target uh, warrior gets plus zero plus two in your team, so it's good uh, sort of uh, supporter pump. Giant body jutsu. Counter against evil containment wave. So counter Mufuba. And then we got uh, Journey of two copies of Journey Adventure. Journey of Adventure. This is basically a budget version for Old Kai. Does exactly the same thing. Recirculates cards back into your deck, back into your planet. Fantastic card if you can't get uh, an Old Kai. Master Roshi's full power. Just you know, Master Roshi showing off his abs uh, and his true power. Fantastic. We got Oolong. We got Yajirobi. This is actually a really good card. Uh, 4040 with toughness. It's definitely a tough bugger to get rid of. Certainly good enough for a 3 drop that doesn't cost you anything. Capsule Corp. Future game cards that I've been designing. They will make some of these completely unused cards a lot more usable. Stay tuned for that. Maybe one day I'll finish those off. Lesson by Master Roshi. It's sort of like a budget inclusion if you guys are running a hermit style specific deck. Outcome of the training can be very good for uh, growth coin decks. We got Reunion here. All Kai's gathered. Crumbled Pry, what a fantastic moment when A Team breaks Vegeta's arm and then Vegeta's a little bitch about it. Invasion of the Planet used to be an absolute staple, sort of like set 1, maybe set 2 era. Just generate, generate an additional chi if you want to. If you don't want to sacrifice cards from your hand, this actually allows you to, to put another card from the top of your deck into chi. Fantastic art as well. I really, really, really like the art of this card as well. Just really fits the Freezer deck so nicely. Legendary Tribe Saiyan. Reviving Power. Selection of the race. Unleashed Hidden Power. Uh, we got two threats of the evil tribe. We've got an Exhausted. We have Trapped in Pilaf's Castle. The Sal Games. Ambition of Dr. Jero. No Mercy. And finally, we have Emperor Pilaf's Plot. What a fantastic, 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 beautiful batch of foils. Guys, I, I, even after I finish recording this video, like these will all go into the folder. I'm going to spend probably a good hour, hour and a half just updating my foil. I'm just now so close to have a place out of every single card. I'm missing two cards, guys. I'm missing a um, set four Super Saiyan Goten, and I'm missing a set four uh, Bora. Uh, and that's it. Once I got that, I have a at least a place out of every card in this game. Uh, and the ultimate aim, the ultimate dream is completely foiling out a full playset of every card in the game. Once I get there, I think I can die in peace because I have accomplished um, what I wanted for how much I love this game and, and how much it means to me to to get, you know, just it's it's so, so fucking touching, you know, that, you know, he like Derek supports me in this way to to get this collection a as perfect as possible it's just amazing thank you buddy thank you i really really appreciate it um uh there's a, a fuckload more of uh gundam ms war cards here um uh so let's just run through these we got the uh government general uh under the north russian sea south pole base 
Space Fortress Libra. Uh, we got two Gundam scrap heaps here. Sand Kingdom, Singapore Base, Liberation Army, Yangtze River three times. This is definitely my favorite battlefield, this putrid area. So good. Uh, got two Quincy. We have a foil Miliardo Peacecraft. Miliardo Peacecraft! -o. And we have the hottie Lucrezia. Lucrezia, Lucretia, Lucre Lucrezia, known. Um, fantastic to have both. Uh, I think for both of these guys, this is my complete playset now, having these. Got two Troa. We have two, three Wufei. We got Dr. S. Oh. Oh. Quatre. Quatre, quatre, quatre. Discard. Just. Oh. Love this card so much. And this was actually, I realized this was another one that I was missing. Uh, one, two. So I really just need one card to finish my collection of MS War. We got good old hero here, another fantastic foil. Three copies of Howard, really good card. We got a Dr. J, and of course no collection would be complete without at least a copy of Rolena. We then move on, we have another bad shield White Fang, uh, MD control device, the Alliance Summit, we got two copies of Descending Operation, fantastic removal. Specials, another fantastic card for us. We got Decoy, Emma's Transport, another Neo Titanium. I got a few now. Seven, eight. Zero System. Three copies of Aftermath. We've got the Operation Meteor, People's Action, two Anniversary of Wars, and super good uh, sort of. Um, it swings both ways because it can give you access to more cards, but it can also make your opponent shuffle cards back into their deck. So fantastic card, multi duty, single flower, of course, that particular moment. Support from uh, Meganek Corpse, Arts Thieves. We got a Preventer here, amazing card, Triumph and Return, Nation of Total Pacifism. Then we got the um, the Oz Valle card, uh, really cool card. I like this. this. This is the foil Oz. This is not the one that comes in the starter. Uh, this is probably my favorite low cost card. The uh, the purple Leo got. Uh, it comes down for two with three clash preemptive con defend. Doesn't matter. You only want to swing with this guy. Fantastic. We also have a serpent transport ship and we have a beautiful foil Death Scythe Hell. We also have two Ares here, which is also really good with Sand and Preemptive, three Clash for three cost. We got the rare Meganek. We have a Gundam Heavy Arms, which is piloted by Hero at that iconic battle on the Antarctica. Uh, and then we got a bunch of Leos. We've got an Oliphant, a Preventer Shuttle, and this crap that you should all throw away and just follow our rule set and have a fantastic game of MS War. Finally, as you guys know, I am also a massive collector of the uh, old school versus system and uh, I have one copy of a still wrapped Cyclops from the Marvel ult uh, Ultimates, uh, one of the five one of the final sets of the game i think this is the yes this is the pre or uh, the the penultimate set from the game so marvel uh, uh marvel unlimited and the very final set marvel equipment this back black panther i believe will give me my fourth Black Panther, but just to find it out real quick, let's go into this folder of absolute beautifulness. And indeed, you guys can see here my missing final copy of Black Panther to give me that place at Cyclops. I still need two of, so if you guys have a Cyclops or two for sale on a reasonable price, hit me up and let's talk about it. 
uh, I'm not missing too many cards. Also, guys, if you have uh, the Marvel Equipment Mjolnir or you guys have the Marvel Equipment Silver uh, Centurion Armor, please hit me up. I also need those bad boys. But look at these beauties. So nice to finally have them, to be able to put them in their little home. Now, let's look at Satch Bell real quick. This, as far as I believe, it's is your um, starter deck. Although I'm not sure, he might have put some, some extra beef in here. So let's just go through and hopefully you guys can tell me a little bit more about Satch Bell. Because I, I don't know much about this game, but I'm very much looking forward to learn how to play it. So we got the, obviously he's Zajbel, Bell, I would assume. Uh, the Mind King. And for one MP, add 1000 power when this card attacks. So that's cool, whatever that means. Moving on, we have the uh, Let's Get Out of Here. Then we have Zacker. We have Kiyo Takamine, another Zacker. Then we have Tia, uh, followed by a Hold On. Moving on, we have Megumi, and then Siyoshi, Ready, and another Zacket. Uh, and we got Rashfields, Rashfields actually, sorry, uh, and Friendship Curry. Kanchome, uh, which is a toddler with the uh, sort of beak of a duck, probably a mask, hopefully a mask. We got another raw shield. Uh, we then have Parko Fulgore. We have Poruk. Uh, Jikurdor. Kind King. Yellowtail Saishu. Suzy. Mizuno. Siyoshi. The Will to Protect. Saishu. Ki kind Kiyo. Zakur. Uh, Iron Man. Fulgore, Kaporuk, Tina, uh, and then Ma Sishield, and a Bao Zakaruga. Now I believe as, as much as uh, as I know, oh, actually this is a super rare. So that's, these. the last two cards are two super rares, I'm assuming they are very powerful. As far as I understand how you play this game, and, and I'm probably going to have to do quite a lot of digging into this game as well, is that basically as you turn the pages, you sort of activate the cards as they are. And maybe, I know there are some cards that allow you to like turn the page back or something like that, but basically whenever you're on a specific page is what card or cards you can use. That's pretty much all I know about it. But, I mean, uh, they're Yu-Gi-Oh! size cards, really cool that... You know, you can just carry your deck with you, like in this little fucking amazing looking booklet, and you just be like, hey, you want to play a round of Zedge Bell? Yeah, fuck yeah. Okay, well, okay, let's start at page 55. <laughs> um, no, I mean, obviously, these cards are fantastic, and again, it's just another, very similar to Firestorm, um, which is going to have an absolute blast playing these games. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we might even post some videos. So we're in 43 minutes, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. What is here? Oh, 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 oh. Before we even go on to Dragon Ball, I've got like multiple decks of Power Rangers here. Just when you thought that it can't get any better, we have, what is this? Easily 100, 150 cards of... Uh, Fucking Power Rangers! Amazing! Um, it's just just amazing. So we've got a couple of decks here. Uh, I, I don't know where one deck starts and where one deck finishes, so I'm just going to go through the cards and keep them in the same order. And we'll try and guess where a deck starts and where it ends. I think this is where the first deck starts. Uh, so we got one, two, three red SPD Ranger, we have red SPD Ranger SWAT uh, gear, two of them, then we have the green SPD Ranger, three of those, same one SWAT unit for green SPD Ranger, then we have three blue, uh, three SWAT for this guy, 
uh, and then we've got three yellow and two SWAT for that. We also have two pink and one SWAT for pink. Then we got a shadow, uh, actually two shadow speed rangers. We have a beautiful foil Omega Ranger. Looks super cool. We got two of these guys. Then we got the power uh, SPD Power Rangers. So this is obviously the SPD deck. We have Delta Squad Megazord. Megazord. That's fucking amazing. And then we have uh, another one. Uh, and I think this is deck one. We then have uh, Red Mighty Morphin Ranger. One, two, three of. We have another type of Red Mighty Morphin Ranger. Two. We have two foil Red Mighty Morphin Ranger. Uh, we have Black Mighty Morphin Ranger. Three of. Another type of Black Mighty Morphin Ranger. Two of. Blue Mighty Morphin Ranger. Three of. And we have a different type of Blue Mighty Morphin Ranger. Two of. We have one, two, three pink Mighty Morphin Ranger and two of a different type of pink Mighty Morphin Ranger. We have a yellow Mighty Morphin Ranger accompanied by two more yellow Mighty Morphin Rangers and two more yellow Mighty Morphin Rangers of a different uh, card design. We also have a green Mighty Morphin Ranger accompanied by a lovely foil white Mighty Morphin Ranger. We have a Dino Megazord, which looks fucking fantastic. So this, these are all the old school uh, My, Mighty Morphin Rangers. We got the the, uh, the Battle Mode Dragon Megazord here as well. Look at that, fucking fantastic. Now I do believe you play like rock, paper, scissors in this game. That's why we got the symbols up there. And that sort of dictates the outcome of, of, of the game too. I think that's what like who wins a particular battle, which is fucking cool. To be fair so we've gone through two decks so far and i believe we are starting deck three here these are the rpm rangers so we got one red rpm ranger and then we got two of a slightly different design red rpm ranger and we got another two of a slightly different design rpm ranger and we have another three of a slightly different design rpm power ranger we have a 1, 2 black RPM Ranger uh, and we have 2, 3 of a slightly different black RPM Ranger. We also have 2 vanilla blue RPM Rangers. I say vanilla because there's no text. Uh, and we have 2 different non-vanilla blue RPM Rangers. We also have 2 yellow RPM Rangers accompanied by two more yellow RPM Rangers, slightly different style, and we have two gold RPM Rangers right here. We also have two silver RPM Rangers, and we have the RPM Power Rangers, an absolutely gorgeous looking car. Dude, the fucking foils are mind-blowing. It does, the camera does not give justice to these guys. These cards they're absolutely fantastic. Shit me, Nicholas. Dude, they are so fucking nice looking. We have uh, Peliomex Megazord. Sort of like, like a silvery uh, metallic background. This is also fucking fantastic looking. And we got two uh, Valve Max Megazords here. We have also a Zenith Megazord. And we are now moving on because we have different types of rangers here. We got Red Megaforce Ranger, two of. Uh, we have a different Red Megazord, Mega Force Ranger. I don't know how this is even red because it looks green to me, but that's not my place to judge. Uh, we have another Red Megaforce Ranger here, just a different one. And then we have a fantastically foiled Red Ultra Mega Force Ranger right here. Again, this card is just fucking fantastic looking. We have a Red Ultra Mega Force Ranger. And we have two black Mega Force Rangers to follow to be followed up by 
three copies of a different kind of black Mega Force Ranger, and we have two yellow Mega Force Rangers, followed by two different looking yellow Mega Force Rangers, and then we have another singleton different yellow Mega Force Ranger. We have two blue Mega Force Rangers, followed by two slightly different blue Mega Force Rangers, and a blue Ultra Mega Force Ranger right here. We also have one, two black Ultra Mega Force Rangers and two Robo Knights. I'm glad I finally don't have to say Ranger. Uh, we also have two Dosei Jet. Then we have a Dosei Great Megazord, which is foil. Again, just absolutely looks fantastic. We have a Dosei Grand Megazord. Check out that foil, then, guys. That is again, it's just fantastic. And we have an Ultra Gusei Great Megazord here with sort of the gold plate writing and and just the, the full blown wonder wonderfulness, absolutely fucking fantastic looking. And I think this is our final deck. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure that we. Uh, you know, still have music because it stopped, but not anymore. So let's take a look at our final um, Power Rangers deck. We have Red Ninja Storm Ranger uh, and a different one. We have two Blue Ninja Storm Rangers, two yellow, and a single tone yellow. Uh, we have two. Crimson Ninja Storm Rangers uh, and another two slightly different ones. We have Navy Ninja Storm Ranger, two of them, and two again, but slightly different ones. We also have two green samurai rangers and two fantastically looking foil green samurai rangers there as well. Uh, and then we've got two, three more, which is also foil. This looks fucking amazing. Wow. This is really, really, really cool. And then we got two Ninja Storm Power Rangers there. Uh, and we have one, two Megazord. And three Storm Megazord right here. Now, what's cool about all these decks is obviously they all have their own sort of unique things they do. There aren't many videos out there about Power Rangers, so I'm probably going to be profiling these decks uh, and sort of explain what they do and why they do what they do and what's sort of like the best way to route these decks when we play them. Uh, again, there's a good level of randomness with rock, paper, scissors. There's also a game where you can basically just zip the barcode off, two different means to do that, and, and you can actually scan these cards in uh, and then use them, you know, in, in, in app. As well, so fucking fantastic shit. So I can't wait, dude. I can't wait to play. play them. They, when we first talked about the Power Rangers cards, I was like, "Come on, man, you gotta be kidding me!" And then he started to show me like pictures and explain how he plays, and and I kind of fell in love with it, to be honest with you guys. I kind of fell in love with it. So this is gonna be uh, fantastic. Uh, and now. We have a whole fucking bunch of uh, Scorzy decks to go through. So first of all, what I saved here, we have a player active uh, and we have the uh, attack battle uh, table here. Uh, for anybody who takes uh, Panini Z and Scorzy a little bit seriously, you must have one of these. So uh, we're gonna go uh, and, and check out these decks. Let's start with red. So red is a trunks deck. Oh, dude, these, oh, dude, so nice. Brand new, brand new fucking dragon shields. I'm not gonna go through the the cards individually. I'm just gonna show off the deck. So we got. Um, I'm gonna show the main uh, character. We got. Um, this is our levels one to four. And I, guys, I've never. Wow, they actually look 
they look so much better when when you hold the cards in your hand. Like my only my only criticism, and I was always open about this, is the fact that of course they have basically cropped pictures out of the anime. But when you actually hold it in your hands, it 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 gives a completely different feel to it. It actually feels super super. It looks super cool. Um, yeah. Just absolutely fantastic looking. We got Red Ascension Mastery. This is a thick card. Holy shit, I didn't realize that this is so thick. Jesus Christ. So we're running Red Ascension Mastery. He built these decks painstakingly by, uh, by asking as to what sort of play styles I like to see. He was adamant on making sure that I have uh, a deck for each color. And I, I, I can't, I, I'm so grateful. It's just absolutely fantastic. We got uh, Earth Dragon Ball 5 here. We got, of course, Tool, which I know now is a staple. We also got two copies of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Red Destiny right here. I do believe these are uh, sort of tourney promos. Uh, absolutely fantastic looking. Uh, he's also obviously matched the the look of the sleeves. Um, we got another uh, red destiny here, uh, red relaxation, red observation, red blazing aura. Oh, look at the guys! Look at these! Oh my God! Look at that! Jesus, that is beautiful. That is fantastic. Surprise attack! Just. Red Fist Lunge in foil, Red Whiplash in foil, Red Face Break, pa Red Power Rush, Sword Stab, just again, what's this? Red Shoulder Grab, I can't even foil, Jesus Christ, Red Double Strike, Static Shots, Cross Flash, Red Left Bolt. Static shot, physical fortification, fist catch, passive block, resourceful block for red, and then we got two of these beauties. Red energy defensive stance. Just absolutely fantastic. You know, oh god, I can't wait to start playing this game. I'm so excited, these cards look actually fucking amazing, they are really, really, really cool looking. And they're all color coded, they're all, oh god, dude, you have gone into so much effort with these, I'm so grateful to you, man, I don't know what to say, it's just, I'm so overwhelmed, it's, <laughs> I'm not normally speechless in my videos, uh, you know, as you guys know, but this this really has uh, rendered me speechless. Um, we got an orange Tenshin Han deck. So that's an interesting one. Okay, we got our personalities, and we're rocking orange adaptive mastery. We also got orange style mastery, so I think it's a sort of mix and match type of thing. Uh, Earth Dragon Ball 3, Spy Drill, just just so many cards, like, I'm not even, another time, look at this. Oh, God, beautiful, we got, obviously we must run Chao Tzu as an ally, the deck wouldn't be complete for TM without Chao Tzu. Confrontation, Energy Gathering, Tension Hunts Preparation, just fucking... Fantastic! I love Tenshin, like, undeniably he is the strongest Earth Warrior. Um, some people say it might be Krillin, but actually, what, Tenshin Han has been always super buff, and he's always been training. Uh, whereas um, Krillin, especially in Super, you know, Krillin all basically retired. Goku had to, like, drag him back into the scene. Uh, to start um, to, to take part in the, um, uh, the universe tournament, tournament of universes. 
uh, again I'm probably not appreciating these decks as much as I will when I'm sitting down and I'm just looking at them alone because I'm I understand how much time he's been building these Piccolo is like Piccolo is my favorite one of, definitely one of my favorite characters if not my favorite character so having a uh, a blue deck that runs Piccolo this art might be familiar to some of you we're rocking Namekian style mastery no idea why we have this guy on it he's not Namekian but um, Pycon is not Namekian hey whatever visiting the past staple card we've got a Namek Dragon Ball wish some Gohan shit oh look look at these foils are fucking fantastic and I love the um, I'm really really liking this uh, what kind of this isn't this isn't Dragon Shield is it buddy I, I love the feel of it I think the feel of it is really fucking cool it it's kind of like it's, it's a little bit sort of I don't know it's just hard to explain but it's a nice feel another time this is like the third different type of time he sent me fucking fantastic we got weighty clothes we got restoration just this fucking foil as well look at that shit it's just fantastic they look so good hybrid defense the Mechian regeneration must be any Dragon Ball game that takes itself seriously you must have a card that where a Namekian is regrowing a limb. Swift Strike, Wrist Grab, Clamp. Oh, look at that foil Namekian combo. That's fucking fantastic too. Holy shit. Just so many foils. Dude. Wow. Maximum Will. Buffer. The Mackie Finger Blast. I mean, they could have just written Makanko Sapo, but let's not misspell it. Uh, energy Deflection. He's actually deflecting the Makanko Sapo here. Focus Ball. Sweet technique. And we have three Hand Bursts as well. So this is fantastic. I'm loving this deck as well. So many cards I'm gonna have to read this weekend. I can't wait for it. That's just like any one of these decks. I can spend hours looking at decks and figuring out what's like the oh my god. Yes! 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 My man! My main man, Mr. Trucker Hat! Fucking hell, Android 13. Yes, baby. Yes. Look at these bad ends. He foiled them out. The oh man, so good. This is the moment where Vegeta knew he fucked up. Indeed, he did. Fucking amazing. Oh, this is so good. We're rocking black mischievous mastery. Yes, we are rocking a black deck. We got Android 14 and 15 as well with the correct names this time, not like in CCG. Also fucking foil. This is just... I mean, you can't have a 13 deck without his uh, partners in crime. And we also run 16 just because he's strong. Uh, and we got Dragon Ball 2 from Earth. We also have Black Smoothness Drill. We have Visiting the Past. And then we've got Black Power Ups, Time, Villainous in Power. Fuck, this is beautiful as well. Absolutely loving this. Overwhelming Power, Stare Down, Black Command, Black Schematics. Clearly, this must be good for Androids. Wall Breaker. <laughs> yes, baby. <laughs> Sagacious Strike, Armbreaker, yes. Uh, impenetrable Defense, Insubordination, naturally must be there. Black Chin Kick, 
Defensive Burst, Black Dash, three of them, uh, Black Back Strike, we got Black Combo, we have Overwhelming Attack, Android 13's SS Deadly Bomber, Super Saiyan, I, I, I assume, Point Blank Villain Volley, fantastic looking again. Goku's Kamehameha right into the face of Broly there. We got Black Knee Catch. We have Black Hug Maneuver. How many? I, I thought it was four. Three is the max limit. And then we got Black Swipe. Can't wait to play this deck. This actually was like one of my my number ones. Like I was like, hey dude, well, even if, if you're building a deck, can you please make that <laughs> your 13? Because I absolutely love that motherfucker. He's just so evil! And so... Uh, such a bad accent. <laughs> Sorry, people living in the South. Holy fucking God. We have a Vegeta deck here. We've got... Sorry, come back up here. Super Saiyan Vegeta. Vegeta settled down. We got the Lost Pride, and we have Vegeta Ascendant, and uh, we also have Vegeta the Revitalized here. Um, I don't, I don't even like. I think we are trying to win here with just going to max level, but I might be wrong. But these cards look fantastic, and we're freestyling. We are motherfucking freestyling. Uh, we are also rocking the East Sky Sensei. She's got a weird hat, but it's cool. I like it. So we got 10 side cards. 10 side deck cards. Once per game during any non combat step, raise your main personality to its highest power stage. Boom! Uh, we got. I think we're rocking all the seven Dragon Balls here. Alternate Dende Dragon Balls three, four, five, six, seven. So we can also wish. We got Dan speaking with the King Drill. We got Vegeta's Pride, Vegeta's Quickness Drill. This is still where he's rocking the uh, ginger ha hairstyle. Vegeta's Plans. We've got Dragon Ball Capture. We got Temper Outrage. We got the Dragon Radar, we got, of course, Visiting the Past, we got Time, Battle Pausing, Narrow Escape, Enhanced Reflexes, Sneaky Tricks, we've got 1, 2, 3, Confrontation, um, cool card, Vegeta is lurking, we've got 2, Foil, Surprise Defense, fantastic, we've got Energy Blasts, we've got Good Advice, we have 3 Stomach Crushers, we have three beautiful foil Vegeta's Gutter Gallop as he's fighting against Boo. Uh, we've got Blurred Kick three times. We've got Physical Stance, which is another fantastic, fantastic, fantastic card. Vegeta's normal, well, just, just stance, not physical stance, just stance. Uh, we've got Vegeta's Sacrifice. Uh, Jolting Stash Gallic Gun twice uh, then we've got two other Gallic Guns, three other Gallic Guns uh, Destruction Blast three times and Final Flash three times, absolutely fantastic deck, I'm actually now I'm, I'm, I'm struggling because I love this deck, I also love the 13 deck, I also love the Tian Shin Han deck, I also love the Piccolo deck I also love the Trunks deck, so which deck am I going to play first? I don't have a fucking clue. I'm overwhelmed, guys. This is this is like overdosing on cards, overdosing on cardboard. You guys have no idea how this feels right now. We also have a fucking Android 18 deck, because why the fuck not would we have an Android 18 deck? Look at this. Look at her. She is waifu. I <sighs> don't know what I'm going to play first. I have absolutely no idea. 
Rocking Blue Protective Mastery. And we have Dende's Dragon Balls all the way up to 7. So again, we can wish. Awful Abrasion, Eyes of the Dragon, Blue Happiness, twice two foils, Visiting the Past. I mean, just sourcing all the copies for this shit. God. This card, that, that art is fucking good. They really hit the nail on that one. Dragon Radar, Powerful Followers. Wow, this is so cool as well. Blue, blue prepared drill. So cool. So cool. Uh, we got blue stamina drill. We got blue release drill. Dragon's victory time, of course. Stare down the three of. Oh, wow. Blue Hunt, Straining Rebirth move, we got a Blue Rush, do you feel fear, Blue Betrayal, Blue Lunge, 3 of, Blue tra uh, Trapped Strike, 3 of, Blue Head Knock, 2 Blue Knockdown, 1 um, Straining energy move 2, blinding energy move 218, 318 is effect. Waifu! One blue terror, one blue dispersing beam, one blue return fire, one, two, three blue energy focus, a blue weaving, two blue intervention, uh, a blue energy guard, and two blue guards. Uh, by the way, uh, my man D, he is an absolutely fantastic deck builder, so please, please, please give him a massive shout out, go over to CCG Replays here on YouTube, uh, make sure you subscribe to his channel guys, make sure you check out his deck profiles on uh, different deck profiles that he's covered with uh, Scorzy, Pansy, um, he's got a vast of information there, and we have our final deck. Our man, the BRO, the LDY. We've got Broly here, and um, that's a green deck. It's definitely a green deck. So we are rocking one, two. Wow, these two, these are so fucking amazing looking. Uh, rocking it with Saiyan style mastery, and of course we have the man, the father who sacrificed it all, Paragus as the ally. Fantastic. So fucking good. I'm loving all every single one of these decks are just amazing, man. Thank you so much. Visiting time. Oh my god, look at these. I mean just just beautiful. Say I'm beef.
from these because we're in hour and 15 minutes. I'm gonna profile these in, uh, in another video. So stay tuned for these. And thank you so much for for watching this video, even if you watch it, you know, double speed or something like that. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Dude, yeah, no, I, I'm literally, I, I got shivers just by. <sighs> Let me open these, thank you. Thank you, fantastic. Fantastic. Can't wait to play the fuck out of these. Peace out, YouTube. Bustian signing out.